investment future program. In the meanwhile, we are delighted to have with us this morning Delana Jensen, who's going to play with the Indianapolis Symphony in Goshen, Indiana, the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. And she's consented to play for us this morning the beautiful, staggeringly difficult Caprice Number no. 24 in A minor by Niccolo Paganini. Here is Delana Jensen. Thank you so much. Delana is going to join us, and we can speak to her a bit about the extraordinary things that she's been doing. It's an amazing fact of a young person's life that they, at the tender age of, well, at the beginning of their teens, in fact, should become a celebrity to tour, play with major orchestras, and perform before thousands and thousands of people. And we're lucky enough to have Delana, even though we won't be able to hear her play with the orchestra here in Indianapolis since her performance takes place in Goshen, Indiana. We nonetheless have had the opportunity to hear her this morning, and we'll have the opportunity now to meet her and talk to her. Welcome to Symphony Backstage, and thank you so much for coming down to be with us this morning. How, how old were you when you first appeared with an orchestra? Um, I was about seven. I think I was seven. And you're now? I'm, I'm 13. Uh, do you find the life a grueling one or an exciting, thrilling one? to travel and perform frequently with orchestras. It's very exciting and it's very fun. I love to travel. Have you ever had a case of uh, nerves or stage fright over performing with an orchestra? <laughs> I wouldn't be normal if I didn't. That's true. 
in case those of, those of you who are watching our program haven't met the other gentleman with us here, this is Mr. Peter Erosh, who's conducting, who conducted last night's concert and will conduct again this evening in Clues Hall, the second pair of concerts of the Indianapolis Symphony. And Mr. Erosh and I will be speaking at a good deal of length uh, in, a, in a few moments. I just wanted you to know who, he, who it was sitting here beside me. Uh, the, the success that you've had has been, I'm sure, a very rewarding success for you. you. You've played with quite a few orchestras, some of them being which? Well, um, Cincinnati with Thomas Shippers and the New York Philharmonic with Andre Kostelanitz. You did a lot of concerts <laughs> with Mr. Kostelanitz, didn't yes, you? Yes, um, a total of six. Four with the New York Philharmonic and two with the Ros Rochester. And um, I perform in Central America many times in Costa Rica with the National Symphony and in Seattle with Milton Kadams. What are, what are some of the concerti that are in your repertoire now? Um, the Sibelius, the Tchaikovsky, the Mendelssohn. Um, I can't think of any. Um, Bach, Mozart, number three, four, and five. And um, Sanson's um, Introduction to Rondo. Many. How about Sarasata? You play the Going Horizon and those um, sorts no, of No, I play the um, Zapateado. Uh, in playing long, demanding works like the Sibelius and the Tchaikovsky, uh, do, you, do you find that, that age has anything to do with the stamina that it takes to perform publicly those pieces? Um, or do you yourself, are you not tired when no, you finish? Well, them? I'm not tired when I finish, but um, I sleep a lot afterward. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't feel tired after I play. Is there one performance that you have heard an other violinist play that stands out in your mind as particularly extraordinary? Nathan Milstein's rec new recording. I love Milstein. And I worked with him this past summer for two weeks in his master class. I understand he's responsible for the forthcoming performance you're going to play yes, in Zurich. in Zurich. Um, a recital. He asked me to play it. <laughs> Do you think um, with all the years that lie ahead, <clears throat> that foundations of your career, the one that you've started now and have going so well, are these, in your opinion, solid foundations on which to build a career? You've not, in other words, felt yourself exploited. You've had to play no. too many times. <laughs> no, I love to play, and um, I just like to play, and I don't think that I've played too many times. It's, not, it's no pressure for me. Often, <laughs> when we have guests on this program, uh, they are people who have families, and they show us pictures of their children, their wives, etc. Uh, you have brought to show us this morning <laughs> the most adorable little family of kittens. And we'll let the people at home look at it while you can tell us about these kittens. <laughs> well, when I came back from Zurich, we found them. They just happened to be there from our other cat. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> they know. Just happened to appear. That's a nice family, all one's own, without, <laughs> without having the burdens of, of <laughs> real parenthood. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to playing with the orchestra in Goshen? Yes, I am. Um, You've had a rehearsal already, I take yes. it. Yes. Um, the conductor is marvelous. I, Who's conducting the performance? Um, Dr. Solomon? Yes, or Mr. Dr. Coleman? Solomon, yes. He, um, he's fantastic. He's a specialist he, in that concerto. We didn't stop there. once through the whole rehearsal. Yes, he's very good, very yes. efficient. Well, it's been a delight having you here. I will only wish you were playing your Tchaikovsky concerto here in the city so we could, <laughs> we could hear it. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Uh, I want to tell you something funny about the city of Indianapolis. It's once again ended up uh, receiving mention nationwide. challenging aspect of the whole idea of playing? Um, well, each performance has to be better, so every performance is a challenge in its, in its own way. So I think every performance is, is, is the next goal, to just make the next performance the best that I can. Are you overwhelmed when you're called a child prodigy? You know, many people have been called this, and then after a few years they've uh, lost touch. Do you think you can uh, maintain what you're trying to set out to do? Of course, I have my own goal, and 
I'm just glad that people enjoy the music because that's what is important. But for me, what's important is my goals and what I feel about the way I play.